All right. Uh, in this video, I want to go over a couple of concepts dealing with cost. Uh, one is the, the broader uh, concept of opportunity cost, uh, and that is a pretty big concept for economics. All right. So this idea of opportunity cost, and the the textbook definition is usually something along the lines of it's the value of the next best alternative. Okay. And so uh, when you come to school in the morning, uh, there's a cost involved. All right. And so you would look at your opportunity cost, and if you weren't coming to school what would you prefer to be doing? And a lot of people, they would say sleep, or some people might say I'd like to go play golf, or some people like to say I'd like, like to go to the movies, or you know, hang out with friends, or whatever. But uh, the opportunity cost is the one, the next most valuable alternative that you're giving up in order to do something. Okay. So in, in economics, generally in an economics class, when we talk about cost, uh, cost does not involve money. All right, we're looking at uh, what we're having to give up in order to do something. All right, the financial cost and economic cost are, are two different things that we'll look at later on in the course. But anyway, so th this idea of opportunity cost simply says, what are we giving up to get what we have? Okay, and so your opportunity cost of coming to school, again, would be the extra sleep or whatever you uh, would find most valuable. So uh, this is the example that we had from the last video. It just kind of blew it up. <coughs> And clean it up a little bit. And so the idea here is is that we want to figure out, uh, and just to review, uh, this is the production possibilities frontier, uh, and here's the curve for it. And so this is saying if we use all of our resources to produce Nerf footballs, we can't produce tractors. And if we produce all tractors, we can't produce Nerf footballs. And so uh, this chart gives us some the, the combination of, of choices to uh, that we can produce. And so here's the idea. Uh, what we're going to look at is what they call the marginal cost. All right, how much does each, for in, in this case, <clears throat> how much does each tractor cost? All right, and so let's use another color here. So uh, remember, if we're producing zero tractors, we can produce a, a thousand Nerf footballs. And so let's say that we want to go. We decide that you know what tractors are a pretty good idea. Uh, they're a lot more efficient in the fields. We can grow much more food, all that stuff. Uh, and so we want to produce this extra tractor. All right. Now remember, 100 beforehand, 100% of all the resources were going to producing our footballs, and so now we've had to pull some of those to produce a tractor. And so we know that if we produce one tractor with the resources that are left for doing the footballs, they can only do 950. So the cost to get this one extra tractor is the output that we have to give up in terms of the Nerf footballs. And so you would say that the cost of this one tractor was the loss, negative, of 50 Nerf footballs. Okay? So we would say that that's the marginal cost. Okay? We're not talking about a financial thing. So let's keep going down the line. Okay? This is an incremental thing. Uh, marginal is just going incrementally from 0 to 1. 1 to 2, 2 to 3, 3 to 4, 4 to 5. That's what we mean by marginal. All right, we'll get into the idea of total opportunity cost uh, in a little bit later in the video. So anyway, let's keep going. Uh, in order to produce, to go from producing one tractor to two tractors, all right, so we're adding one more here, uh, how much are we giving up in terms of footballs? And so how much does this second tractor cost? How much... Does number two cost? All right, and you would say, well, beforehand we were producing 950 Nerf footballs. Now we're only producing 800 Nerf footballs, and so we must have had we gave up the opportunity again, opportunity up here, the opportunity to produce 150 Nerf footballs, and so we can say that the second tractor cost us 150 Nerf footballs. All right, so it's the marginal cost. All right, going from 1 to 2. Now, going from 2 to 3, what is the marginal cost of producing the third unit? Okay, so I'm going to give you just a second uh, to look at it. And so remember, it's not in terms of dollars or anything. It's, it's in terms of opportunity cost. And so hopefully you looked at it and said, well, at producing two tractors, we were producing 800 Nerf footballs, and now we can only produce 600. And so in order to gain this third unit here, we, must, we had to give up 200 units of Nerf footballs. All right, that's the marginal cost. So we gain one there. Uh, we had to give up 100. Let me just cross it out. We gave up 50 there, 150 there, 200 there. We'll talk about why those numbers are increasing uh, later. So to get the fourth tractor, how much did the fourth one cost? So we come over here. We were, were producing 600. 
Now we're producing 350. That's a difference of 250. So in order to get this fourth tractor, we had to give up the production of 250 of these Nerf footballs. And then if we said, you know what, Nerf footballs are stupid, uh, we don't think kids should be throwing their arms out and you know things like that, uh, then we're going to produce all tractors. It's better that they ride on tractors with big bush hogs that you know could cut limbs off, uh, but that's okay. And so if we go to all tractors, how much did this fifth tractor cost us? What is the marginal cost of this fifth tractor? And so you'd look at it and say, at four tractors we were producing 350, at five tractors we're producing zero, and so to get that fifth one we had to give up a total of 350. All right, and so that's the marginal cost or the marginal opportunity cost of producing each of these. All right, now we could go the other way and it gets a little more complicated. Let me see if I can probably just erase all of this. Uh, we could say if we want to get one Nerf football, how many tractors do we give up? Let me just clear it off a little bit. Uh, did it the other way just because the number, numbers are easier, but we could do it in a similar way. So in order to get, let this catch up here, in order for us to go from zero Nerf footballs up to one Nerf football, okay, we just want to go up to one. How many tractors do we need to give up? And so in short, it would be one over 350 one three fiftieths of a tractor, but uh, we're not going to worry about that at this point. Okay, so this, this is the marginal cost. So if I said what's the marginal cost of the third tractor, you would look at it and say, okay, well, if it's marginal, that means we have to look at the one before it. So we're going from two to three, and that's from 800 to 600 over here. So the marginal cost of the third tractor is 600. Now, what I wanna, the other thing I want to look at is total opportunity cost. All right, and that just says, Given any point on here, what are we giving up of the other one? All right, let me just use a couple of examples. So let's say that we're producing three tractors. All right, that means we're producing a total of 600 Nerf footballs. All right, let me get another better color here. So we're, if we're at three tractors, we're producing 600. Now, we could be producing a total of 1,000 Nerf footballs, but instead we're producing 600, and so the total cost, total opportunity cost of producing three tractors would be 400 Nerf footballs. All right, so uh, if I said what is the total opportunity cost of producing two tractors, you'd say, okay, well, we're producing 800 Nerf footballs. We could be producing 1,000, so we're giving up a total of 200. All right, the total opportunity cost of producing four tractors, well, we're producing 350 Nerf footballs. We could be producing a thousand, but we're not, and so we're giving up the, t the difference between that thousand and 350. So the total opportunity cost looks at it's not an incremental thing. It just takes the, the whole the whole number uh, the whole opportunity cost uh, together. All right, now I want to use let me get you some fresh numbers here real quick. Uh, let's do cars and peaches, and so. Setting it up like this, this is how you're probably going to see it on some tests, so uh, we'll just get you used to it. Let's say we got 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Uh, and so this is a country using its resources to produce either cars or peaches. And so with peaches, we can either produce 600, 570, uh, how about 510, 410, uh, 200 and zero. And so this is, uh, I've just put it sideways instead of vertically. And so uh, we can start to ask a couple of questions here. What is, if I said, what is the, uh, what is the marginal opportunity cost of the third car? This is a question you might see on a test. And so if we're looking at the third car, we know that if it's if they're producing three cars, they can produce 410 peaches. All right, that'd be a, an efficient production. And so if it's a marginal, now all we need to do is look at the one before because we're going from two to three. Remember, marginal is incremental, uh, step by step. And so if we, when we were producing two, we were producing 510 peaches. Now, in order to get to go from two to three, 
we had to drop from 510 peaches to 410 peaches and so we had to give up 100 peaches to get this third uh, this third car and so uh, the marginal opportunity cost of the third car would be 100 peaches okay what is what if we said what's the total what is the total opportunity cost of three cars all right then we'd say okay at three cars we're producing 410 peaches we could have been producing 600 and so in total the total number of peaches we had to give up in order to produce three cars was what's that 190 peaches remember cost is not in terms of dollars it's in terms of what you're giving up uh, a couple other quick ones what is the marginal opportunity cost of this fifth car uh, take a second and look at it so the marginal it's the marginal cost of the fifth one and so we'd say okay well at five they're producing zero peaches if it's marginal we just take a step back and say when we were doing four we were producing 200 peaches and so in order to get this extra car we had to give up the production of 200 peaches all right the total so the marginal cost of the fifth unit of the fifth car is 200 peaches total cost of five cars would be how many so we know that uh, if we're producing five cars we can't produce any peaches we know that altogether we could be doing 600 of them so we've given up all 600 peaches to produce five cars so that's 600 peaches all right and so that's the de that's the, how we do uh, marginal cost and total cost total opportunity cost all right and until next time we'll see you then